What's going on guys, it's Patrick from Purple Park Studios and today in this video I'm going to show you how I made this scene in Blender and not just how I made it but why Blender is the easiest and the fastest way to get your green screen footage into a 3D environment. So let's go. Okay, so I'm here inside of Blender, and as you can see, it's uh, it looks like a blank scene. But if you look up over here on the right, you're going to see I have all these different layers. So I'm going to turn these layers on um, one by one and kind of break down what's going on in the scene. But then I'm also going to show you how you can bring your green screen footage into Blender, into the 3D environment in no time. And Blender is just the fastest way to do this. So if I go ahead and turn on this first layer here, Circles, you're going to see that I have a little 3D model here. So this is just a basic 3D uh, model that I model here and it has a little bit of animation on it. So if I go ahead and hit play, you'll see that it's spinning around. So if I go up here to, to this and I hit rendered mode, uh, you're going to see that this happens. And this is because I have some materials on here, but we can't really see all the materials. Uh, and that's because there's no lights in the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my lights layers. So when I turn on the light layer, you can see that now we've got this, this big plane here with the material on it, which is our backdrop. And then we've got, you know, right down here. So it doesn't look like much from this point, but if we go and look through our camera view here, we start to see the scene is coming alive. And we can go up here to this little arrow and turn off the floor and these X and Y lines. And if you want, you can also turn off origins, but we're actually going to leave those on for now. So if I scrub through my timeline here, we can see we have some camera animation coming across here to where our subject is as you saw in the beginning and I'm going to show you how to add the green screen footage into this 3D environment but real quick we have one more layer to turn on and that is our VFX layer um, and this VFX layer guys here if I just go out here and go into the shading I'll show you what's going on here so this is some fire so if I hit the space bar to play the animation you can see we've got some procedural fire here um, and you know there are a couple issues with it you know it's not perfect uh, but it's something that I'm still working on but this is the node setup it's kind of crazy and long so we're not going to get too into it right now um, but maybe in the future I'll make another video explaining how I made this fire but as you can see it does look kind of cool and when we look through the camera here um, and we watch this animation play turn off the cursor here you can see that it's not bad especially with a little bit of depth of field it does add a little something to the scene. So for right now, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the VFX, and I'm also going to hide this backdrop. And I'm going to show you now how you can easily import your green screen footage into Blender in just a few clicks. And this is by far the best program for doing this quickly, and you don't have to be an expert. So what I'm going to do is I like to hit 1 on the numpad to go into front mode. And you want to go up to Edit and Preferences and just make sure that under Add-ons over here, you've got Images as Planes. Make sure that this little box is checked and that will allow you to bring your green screen footage in. So if you've done that, the next step is just a couple clicks. I do want to say I'm using Blender 3.6. It's just the one that I love and I think it's the best, especially for Eevee. Um, it works really well with uh, if you're doing anything with green screen footage. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 1 on the numpad. I'm going to hit Shift A, go to Image. And right here you'll see images as planes. I'm going to click that. And so I'm going to navigate in my computer to where I have the footage saved. And right here you'll see I have this. It says keyed clip 1. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And you should see it shows up down here. Now what you want to do is you want to just go ahead and click this hashed under the blend mode. And also hashed for shadow mode. And this is just going to allow you to get accurate you know, reflections and shadows when you're using ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. So I'm going to go ahead and hit import images as planes and you'll see I get this plane here which I can move around and you'll see it's a, a 2D plane so what we want to do is hit this little drop down arrow and change this over to texture and then if I hit G and Z to move this plane up you'll see I've got my footage here and we can also view the footage by you know going into rendered mode um, and also here in look dev mode but for right now I'm just gonna stay in this mode so you can see how easy it was for me to bring my footage in and now I can move this footage around in the 3d environment I can put it wherever if I scrub through my timeline you'll see I've got the animation right there so I'm gonna go ahead and just move this back here but you can see it's like really small so what we need to do is I can go ahead and turn off this circles layer here just so we can see a little bit clearer and I'll go ahead and just turn on the floor and the X and Y just in case you're newer to Blender so it's not as confusing. So we need to get this 
images as planes to be the proper like scale of like an average human. So before I do that, you can see there's this nasty line up here, and that's because when I was keying out my footage, I missed the top of the mask. So there's a section here of the green screen that didn't get keyed out. So I can fix this by tapping into edit mode and just adding a loop cut up here and then hitting three for face mode and then X and delete the faces and now that's gone. So to get this green screen footage to the proper scale, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Shift A. I'm gonna go to Armature, Basic Human Meta Rig and you can see that right here this is about the height of an average human roughly it's going to be good enough for this video so i'm going to first line my footage up down here at the bottom i'm going to hit Control a and apply all transforms which will send this little orange dot which is the origin to our 3d cursor and i can turn that back on i turn that off so you can see now the dot is right with the cursor so when i scale it'll scale from the cursor i can scale my footage up like that and now he's roughly the height of the average human so I can go ahead, delete that armature, turn on my layers, and go to rendered mode. And now I've got my final clip. So guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and smash that subscribe button. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel and watching my videos. It really, really means a lot to me. I'm just glad to see that people are finding these videos valuable and helpful. And go ahead and tag me in some of your stuff, especially on Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys are making. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.